What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to teach you and I'm going to show you how to use files in MQL5. You are going to see that it is something very 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 easy and very useful. So first of all, how do we create files, how do we use files, etc. What I recommend you is coming to this page. Now it's currently in Spanish but you can just simply change this and you will have it in English. But here you have all the information about, about all the functions that you have in this language regarding uh, files. So we are going to create an expert advisor to create one file and store it. The thing is that maybe you may be confused on where is the file stored. At least I was confused on that. So let's see. First of all, what we have to do is that we have to open the MetaTrader 5 program and here you, you just have to press the IDE button. So once you press this, you will have this window open and let me delete this because I want to show you how to do this. So we are going to delete this file and now what we are going to do is, let me also close this, I don't want to save anything. So what we have to do is to create a new expert advisor. And how do we do this? We press the new button, which is in the left uh, up, upper corner. So you press here and you will have this window and you just don't click anything. You just leave it in on expert advisor. You click next and here you have to give it a name. We are going to call it file and we are going to click next and end. So you will have this file and from this file, we don't need anything excepting this on init function. So in this on init function, what we are going to do is that we are going to create the file. But what is this on init function? It's basically a function that gets called every time we put a bot in to execute. So you are going to see that later better, but this function is only called once when you start the bot. So now what we are going to do is to create a file and then we are going to check if we really created that file. So let me call this, well, let me show you how to open a file and how to create a file. For that, what you have to do is to press, well, to call the function file open. You see that with just putting file, you have all this information. So it's easy. So file open and you have several things to put. First one, you have to put the name of the file. So we are going to call this test1234file.txt. Then the next thing is that we have to put flags. And these flags uh, are very tricky because there are several uh, there are several flags. So if you click double click on file open and then you click uh, you press F1, you will have here all the information about this function. And you can see here that the flags, the open flags are all these and you have all the all the information that you need here. For the thing that we want to do, we only need here the file write because we are going to write in this file. Next thing is the delimiter and this is commonly used on data science files such as .csv, .whatever, etc. But we are not going to use any delimiter so you can put here a zero and uh, MQL5 will know that you are not going to do anything. This last argument refers to something like uh, ANSI or whatever. So you just put here CP, HCP, and I think that you will make this file ANSI. But again, if you want to uh, go deeper on this, you just have to double click here, press F1 and then come here. And here in this link, you have more information about what is CPAD, which is the ANSI for the Windows system, etc. So. Now we have opened the file. What we need to do now is to, well, uh, close it after writing, but we are going to first show how to close it. So in order to close it, um, so now we have created a file, but where is the file? The file is here in this variable, which we are going to call fd, which refers to file descriptor. We have now here the file descriptor. So. With this file descriptor, we can do a lot of things such as writing in the file. So what we can do now is that we can call the function file write. And here we just need to pass the handle or the descriptor fd and the message that you want to print. So we are going to print hello, this is the test and the time, well, the current time 
is seven half past seven. So we are going to print this in the file and after printing this, we need to delete, well, to close it. So for that, we use the function file close and we just need to send it uh, the, the handle, the file descriptor. So with this, <laughs> we have already created a file. We, we have written in the file and finally we have closed the file. So we compile and now you have two ways to execute this and depending on which way you use, the file will be stored in one place or another. So the first way to do this is that by coming to this navigator that you have here at the left, if you take the expert advisor that you created and you click and you drag it to the to the screen, to, the, to this chart, you will open a bot basically. So here, when you open the bot, you create that file. And where is that file? So if you come here to, to files, open a directory of files. Here, if you come next to the MQL5 library, and finally you come to files, you have this file that we created. This is one that I created before, but you have this one, which contains the information that we put it. So for example, let's say that we change this and we put here one, two, four. So if we compile and we, let me do this a smaller so you can see that in real time, if we compile and we take this and we drag it here, we will reopen this and you see that we created a new file with the new name. But what if, if instead of uh, dragging this to the chart, what if we want to do it here in the tester so how do we do it? So first we choose the file ex uh, expert advisor and then we, yeah, yeah, you set this, all these things. But the thing, the important thing is that you click on a start and now you may say, hey, where is this file? So you have to come here to the same folder and what you can do is that you come here to file, open the directory, then you come back to meta quotes and here you have this folder called tester. So you open this folder tester and here you have this strange string. So you click it here and you have this agent which refers to the agent that is performing the test. So you click here again, MQL5 files and you have here the, the test. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, share, subscribe and see you in the next one.